Unbeknownst to Le Verrier, a similar drama was unfolding across the English Channel. John Couch Adams, a Cambridge student, was also fascinated by the Uranus anomaly. In 1843, Adams began his own calculations, convinced a new planet caused the disturbances. By 1845, he had a predicted position. He presented his findings to George Biddle Airy at the Greenwich Observatory, hoping for a search to prove his theory. Unfortunately, miscommunications followed. Airy was skeptical and Adams never replied to his questions. Adams couldn't convince the establishment to act. Le Verrier was completing his work, setting the stage for a dramatic conclusion. Frustrated, Urbain Le Verrier sent his prediction to the Berlin Observatory on September 23, 1846. He addressed his letter to the astronomer Johann Gottfried Galle, providing the predicted coordinates for the new planet. Galle and his assistant pointed the observatory's telescope to the location Le Verrier specified. Comparing what they saw with a star chart, they found a point of light not on the map. They had discovered Neptune, a stunning victory for theoretical physics. History has rightly credited both Le Verrier and Adams for their brilliant work. Neptune is the eighth and most distant major planet in our solar system. It belongs to a class of planets known as ice giants, sharing this category with Uranus. Neptune has a three-layered structure, a rocky core, a dense mantle of water, methane and ammonia, and a deep atmosphere. Methane in Neptune's atmosphere absorbs red light and reflects blue light, giving the planet its vivid azure color.